なんですけどね。So as you can see, they walk into the tent. We don't know what's going on. They found something, but they don't even know how to tell me to let's go. So our interpreter over here is filling us in. So I am fixing to head out and uh, our communication will be very minimal. I just gotta trust the guide, right? They say the dangerous, world, the dangerous path was in reserve. If we would cross this, they would be. Better. I thought the dangerous part was the ice road with a rope. If we would cross this road, only 50 meters left. If we, would cross, we, if we would cross this 50 meters, we would be fine. Yeah, the hard part is, uh, you know, not being able to communicate. You know what I mean? We didn't know that we're 50 or 75 meters from easy. We never came to a road with ice and a rope. So in our, in my mind, we haven't even made it to the hard part yet, you know? Moral, moral of the story is I need to learn to jeek. You get all the way across the world and you want to kill what you're after bad, but you know, we got wives and kids back home and they start talking about little shelves on the north facing slopes that are frozen and we don't have the crampons or the right gear and in their mind they'll just tie a rope around us so if we slip then they can catch us and um, you know sometimes you got to kind of think about it so the the safer longer road um, is is the one we've opted to to trek so in Tajikistan Bring your spotting scope, your binoculars. Not for you to use. These guys are limited on gear, so they kind of depend on our gear to help do their job. I'm gonna take a break here and try and glass. Um, we tried to take a shortcut. Uh, ended up being very, very dangerous. We were talking about a little bit earlier with the guides at the back at base camp. So we're going a different way. S supposed to be a safer road. Um, they use the word road, there's no roads, just to clarify that, it's like, it's not even game trails, but uh, anyways, the flight delay out of DFW and being held over in Turkey waiting on a new flight already put us behind, and then the first day we got here we were trying to make it to camp and the river's frozen, and the, the stop point they normally take the vehicle to was out of the question, so we lost most of the day there and 
We're, we, they, they don't have the ability to use the horses or the donkeys like they normally would because they, they just can't cross frozen rivers. They can't get any traction. Hell, we couldn't hardly get any traction. So we, uh, we're gonna hunt our way to this other camp. And then tomorrow there's a spot they know that a lot of Ibex hang out. And we really only have tomorrow to get it done because then it'll take us a day to get back to the first base camp and then a whole nother day to get back to the main lodge just to be able to, to get out of here and try and catch our flight. So uh, definitely language barrier challenge, accessibility challenge, Tajikistan's throwing everything against us that it can, so. We're gonna give it hell though, that's all we can do. Cheese and goat cheese. And bread. Ketchup. 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 <laughs> he hacked a bottle of ketchup All the way it. up here in Tajikistan and brought ketchup. <laughs> I prefer spicy brown mustard with my salami. I can't see his orange head. He's looking like down. I can't see his orange head. But I see, I see the ibex. <laughs> We're here at the second spike camp, about 17 hour hike in to be to get here. Uh, there's several rangers out glassing and trying to get their eyes on Ibex. They didn't want to burn up the day trekking up the wrong ridge to realize that the Ibex were on the other side. So they, they set out in a lot of different directions to make sure that they put us on the or put me on the right ridge to get in position to make a shot. Um, they just radio in and said they have one that's they've got moving, um, should crest this big ridge back behind us. I'm not really sure what the game plan is. Again, communication is uh, limited at best. So uh, they say something to the tuna rafting, which means let's go. And we just go. Oh, he's tying a rope around me. Looks like we're getting ready to try and go up that. So here we go. January 23rd. We're about a third of the way up. We get to some flats on the ridges and glass. So they drug me up that ice slope with a rope and now they're game planning whether we go back down and up on that point over there or if we go up and around. I guess the Ibex that was over here has moved off but we've spotted one they said it's bigger but he's across on that snow slope 
So we need to get over there to the edge of that rock point. Because right now we're 1,200 yards. If we get over there, maybe four or 500 yards shot. So, I mean, this is the last day. We gotta saddle up and give her hell. We've located some Ibex. I don't know if you can hear that. We've located some Ibex. We came from down there. this we couldn't close the distance to get a shot thousand yards wind across the valley he was bedded perpendicular to me not parallel so really skinny shot I'd have probably tried to fucking swing but the snow just started drifting faster and faster and faster. And the bushes in front of me started moving faster. And I, I mean, nine tens, it's a tough. It is. And the thing is, is he was bedded down kind of quartering away. So Your target's I'm, my a lot target's smaller. a lot smaller. So for, if elevation was spot on, well, wind drift and spin drift were not going to be on my side. No. So I came up with a plan. And they understood it. And I said, I took their stick and I said, Ibex. And then I stabbed a hole up top and I said, scare Ibex down. And they were like, yeah, 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 shoot, shoot. And I was like, no. <laughs> That's funny. But in hindsight, I should have fucking shot. <laughs> I don't like to give up. So if they think that we can do it and we can hunt hard one more day tomorrow, I'm prepared to do two things. One, we kill an Ibex and we go back to that other camp at night or we kill an Ibex and we come back here and the day that y'all are walking out from camp one, I'll walk from here all the way to the hotel. <laughs> Maybe you want to go hunting tomorrow, so you are ready to go hunting, right? I have no choice if I want to kill one, it's all or nothing. I don't, I don't know how you say this in your, in your language, but in English we have a term that says you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Um, he says that the Ibex is 600 meters up from us. You want to shoot in this distance or no? I think I'm kind of running out of options. Yeah. So is that a yes, Trey? Trey, is that a yes? I think we're just gonna have to go fucking send it. So he's gonna shoot? Yes. He's gonna shoot. Oh, I'm gonna shoot. I'm Halfway up this high slope with a fucking rope like a dog, like a donkey that won't cross the river, so. Shoot him. Aim small, miss small. 245 yards. It ain't no damn skin and party without music. Little Texas country into Jigistan. That's all I got. Y'all wanna know what a week with no shower looks like? Something like that. But damn. It's worth it. So unreal. We didn't know if uh, this would even come to fruition. This man right here, literally, 
drug me up this ice sloped mountain with 550 paracord and the man behind the camera spotted this ibex for me and set on him we were able to climb up to the top of this peak i mean there's no words but we did it you know my wife my kids they stay home and they let me do this so i think of them the most while i'm here my dad who first put me in the woods my papa james who always took me hunting and my mom who's always been my biggest fan thank you thank you to everybody there's a whole lot more out there like me north to south from sea to sea like thinking we're all gonna fall and quit every one of you better quit hardest working hardest working people i've ever met in my life you too we give them hugs <laughs> thank you on our hike out we kind of ran out of food up there so another ranger met us on the way and they decided that we should just build a fire right here on this ridge and eat so that's what we're doing don't be expecting us because we got work to do yeah, as long as we're still breathing and our blood is flowing red our way Fixing to head out. Surprise me for my birthday. Yes. Who missed me? Yes. 